The following program has been generously funded by the Patterson Foundation. This book is cool. Welcome to This Book is Cool. My name is Beth Duda, and I'm the director of the Suncoast Campaign for Grade Level Reading. You'll see I'm smiling very widely today, and it's because we are going to be talking about a book that I love. The book is called Juana and Lucas, and it was written by Juana Medina. And you'll notice that there's a circle on the book. This is an award-winning book. I always enjoy sharing quality books with my friends and my family, and this book not only is a quality book, but it's an enjoyable book. And we have a special guest with us today to talk about why she thinks this book is cool. With us from the Manatee Community Foundation, we have Susie Bowie. Hi Susie, how are you? Hi, how are you today, Beth? I'm so happy to be here to talk about a very happy book. I am happy to have you here, and this book makes me smile. I, I love the characters in the book. Can you tell me one of the things that you think makes this book cool? Well, there are so many things that are cool about this book, but I noticed I like the way the story describes the special feeling you have when you feel welcomed in a place, just like Juana felt when she went to Abolita's house and Abolito's house. And they had a special yellow mug just for her, and they were comforting things all around, like a beautiful garden and a big magnolia tree. It was really clear in the book that Juana has lots of people who love her and they want things wonderful happening in her life, like learning new words, but also learning how to speak English. So I thought it was really cool that she had a very special carrot out there, right? A visit to Spaceland to help her learn English. But the author also snuck in some really cool things like words in Spanish every now and then to help us learn Spanish, but also long words like neurosurgeon. And I got to learn that neurosurgeon is just a fancy word that describes a doctor that operates on your brain. So I thought that was really cool about the book too. And I loved that the author used so many Spanish words in the book because not only did I enjoy the story, but I feel like my Spanish vocabulary has grown, not because I sat down to study new words, but because I was exposed to new words in such an enjoyable way. I learned some new words too, and I also liked the fact that Juana, she learned that sometimes when you pick up something new, like English, you can go and do good things for other people, like you can help translate things. Did you see the part of the story where she translated the names of the vegetables in the market? And so I got to learn all of those words too, and I really like that. One of the other things that I really enjoy about the book that actually made me think of you is this relationship that Juana has with her dog, Lucas. She loves a lot of different things. She's a very enthusiastic person, but there's nothing that she loves more than Lucas. And I know that you have dogs in, in your life. And do you have that same kind of a relationship with your dogs? I do have that same relationship with my dogs. And that's one of the things I think is so cool about a story when there's a character in the story and it makes you think about yourself. So I have two crazy dogs at home. They're named Scout and Wilson. And when I'm at home, they're always by my side. And I noticed that in the book, Lucas was always by Juana's side. So even when she was a little scared or apprehensive about having to learn something new and when she was happy, 
happy being around her family, the dog was there with her too. And the dog was part of her family. So that was a wonderful thing to read in the story. I also admire the way the author drew pictures using words. And I want to show the audience an example of that. And then I'll be right back with you. So one of the things that the author has done, the author has changed the size of the printing and also in some cases the direction of the printing to help tell the story. Here's a great example when you see the words fly over and you can see that she's made the words look like they're flying over. Also with Spaceland, how the author has added lines so Spaceland looks like it's in motion. That is so cool. I love that about the book. I also like that in some places the author capitalized all of the letters to let you know how important that statement was. So her picture titles are very fun to read. And like there was one part that said, I love Lucas, love him all in capital letters, or I strongly dislike my uniform very strongly. <laughs> and it made me think of all the things that I really love or all the things I really don't like and how I like to express myself when I'm talking about those things. I think this author did a fabulous job of conveying emotion through words and through pictures. And I really felt like I gained a new friend by reading this book because my feelings for Juana and for Lucas just grew with every page of the book. So by the time I finished the book, I felt like Juana was my friend. I felt the same way. And I like the way she expressed her feelings in the book too. The book is cool for another reason because she let us know that it's normal to sometimes feel scared and excited all at the same time. Like when Juana found out about the trip to Spaceland, she is so happy, but she also knows she's got to try really hard to learn her English. So she said it was the worst day and the best day all together. So I think this is a book that I will come back to and read more than once because like you, I have felt that I have gained a new friend with both a girl and a dog. And you always need another dog in your life. Oh, that's good wisdom. Are there any um, other things you'd like to share with us about why reading is so important this summer? Reading is so important this summer, not only because it's fun, but because it helps us practice the words that we already know and learn new words, but also have great conversations with people and not you know, not unlike Juana and Lucas, when I read this book, I got to work through some of the feelings that I've been feeling as well. I found myself in these characters and it made me feel good to know that other characters and people feel the same way I feel. So reading over the summer is so important. And the only question is not if you're going to read, but how many books you can read over the summer. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time to be with us today, and I want to thank you for everything that you have been doing to make life in Manatee County better for families and individuals, and it's always good to see you, Susie. It's always good to see you, Beth, and thank you for inviting me to be on This Book is Cool. I hope I see you again soon. It was so fun to talk to Susie about her love of dogs, and her love of reading, and her love of this very special book, Juana and Lucas. This book has words in it that are in Spanish, but because of the way the author has put them into the book, you understand what the words mean without having to read the definition. This says Mr. Tompkins passes out books on the English. Juana is learning how to speak English. They're as big as phone books and heavy as rocks. Inside, there are THs everywhere. Juana speaks Spanish, and in Spanish, the T and the H together doesn't appear in the language Spanish. But there are a lot of THs in English, and Juana finds them difficult. 
There are also big W's and long L's that seem impossible to pronunciar. Now, we know just by the way she's described it that pronunciar means pronounce. And that's just one example that she's done. There are several more. So by the time I finished reading this book, there were probably 25 to 30 words in Spanish that I learned, not by studying them, just by enjoying reading about Juana and Lucas. Such a clever way of using language. The author has also included some words that we're going to put right into our word bank. The first one is a word neurotic. Neurotic. That means a tendency to be negative or anxious in an emotional state. Some people say that Lucas is neurotic. Juana's dog. But Juana doesn't think so. She loves him just the way that he is. Our next word for the word bank is the word asphalt. Asphalt. It's a sticky black substance, like tar, that's used for making roads and roofs. Asphalt helps to make things waterproof. Our next word is the word detest. Detest. It means to have a strong dislike for. Some people would say it's a synonym for the word hate. Detest. Our next word is the word infirmary. Infirmary. That's a place for the care of people who are ill or injured. Sometimes a hospital or a clinic will have an infirmary. Infirmary is also used to describe a space that cares for people in a school or at a camp. Our last word for our word bank is the word planetarium. Planetarium. That's a place that projects images of the sun, the moon, the stars, or the planets on a ceiling that very often is a domed ceiling. I have a suggestion for an activity to go along with this book. As you go through the book and you learn new words in Spanish, you could make a list of all of the words that you've learned in Spanish and what they mean in English. Then you could pair those words up, maybe play a game like a match game. You could put all of your new Spanish words on index cards and all of the words in English and then mix them up on the table and draw them until you find a match. If you do create some flashcards with the words in Spanish, please take a picture and send it to us at connect at gradelevelreadingsuncoast.net. Spending time with Juana and Lucas is one of the most enjoyable things that you can do this week. Spend some time with a good book. It will make you feel better about yourself and better about the whole world. Until we meet again, my friends, remember that reading is the key to succeeding. We'll see you later. Bye for now.